So here's our crock pot. Here are our eggs. Let's just go ahead and throw these in there. Okay, looks good. Let's go ahead and grab our Mixatron 5000. Yeah, that looks good. And then we need some carbonated water. Here's our carbonated water. Just gonna go ahead and put that in there. I'm not sure why this is a like big component of this, but I guess it is. Then we need some salt and pepper. Okay. That I uh, do it. I'm gonna go ahead and plug this guy in for a little bit, and uh, we'll see what happens. <laughs> so it's been about three hours. Let's see how this looks. Oh. Oops. There we go. Yeah, it doesn't look bad so far. It's actually cooked, so that's a good sign. Let's go ahead and try it out. Oh, that sounds so gross. Uh, it kind of looks cooked. It's a little bit runny. It's very uh, soft and fluffy, though, so that's kind of cool. Let's try it. I mean, it's okay. It's not like the best thing I've ever had. I think the fact that I put strawberry water in there made it taste a little bit weird. But you gotta work with what you got, I guess. Well, I guess we could say it works! Okay, now that I have this half-eaten baked potato, which was delicious, by the way, we're gonna go ahead and see if this works. So I think they put one inside out like this. Yeah, looking good. Put that in there. And we're like, oh no, our baked potato, it's too big. Actually, it fits in the bag perfectly. Uh, just pretend with me here, guys. It's just too big for this bag. This baked potato is way too big for this bag. So then we're gonna do this. Uh, come on. <gasps> it's sticking. I feel like I need practice for this or something. Okay, maybe I have to switch them. Okay, now it's not sticking at all. What am I supposed to do here? This is ridiculous. Just stick on there. Oh my goodness. Just buy bigger bags next time, guys. Oh, oh this is aggravating. Okay, I can't get it to freaking stick, okay? One side does it, but the other side doesn't because how it's made. I'll try it one more time. I just want to put my baked potato away so that it doesn't become bad. <gasps> oh, I got the stick. Oh my gosh, I actually did it. Oh. Okay, we got it to stick together. Well, guys, I guess we can say it works. It's just very time consuming though. I spent five minutes doing this. Now let's try to open it up. Oh yeah, that's some nice baked potato. Mm, yummy. Okay, so I actually went ahead and bought some uh, canned pineapple because regular pineapple is actually out of season right now. So we're just gonna go ahead and open this up. Don't eat that. I said I don't eat that. Get the heck out of here. Okay, thank you. Ooh, this looks delicious. Here's our cupcake tray. I'm just gonna go ahead and put them on here just like that. Oh yeah, this is gonna be so good. Okay, looks like we're too short. Uh, I'm gonna go pop these puppies in the oven. Okay, here we go. Okay, so 120 degrees, and we're gonna pop them in there. You guys be good. I'll see you in about 20 minutes. We'll see what happens then. Uh, let's see what it looks like now. Dang, these just don't want to like dry. This is crazy. Okay, so it's been on 300. It's been like 45 minutes. They're still not dry. I don't know what the heck's going on. Okay, gave it another 20 minutes. How are we? Oh, they're almost actually dry. It only took an hour and a half. Let's look at these puppies upstairs. So here's our pineapples. I mean, they aren't perfectly dried like they are in the video, but it's pretty good. I like baked pineapples. They're not like ultra dried and it took like an hour and a half to really cook. I'd say if you really wanted to cook it all the way through, it would probably take closer to like two hours. Anyway, let's try this bad boy. Yeah, it's not bad. Well, I guess we could say it kind of works. Not 100% because it, it would have taken two hours to fully cook it. So uh, this kind of works, I guess. Okay, please ignore these little scuff marks. I didn't want to get another background because that would be wasteful. So here's our chocolate. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this up a little bit. So we're just gonna... Now that looks good. Then we're gonna put it in our jars. We don't need the cap because these are actually made out of plastic and I'm just gonna go ahead and put some tin foil over them. Yeah, that looks good. Ugh, it's all over my hands. Yeah, that's uh, that's good enough. Now I'm gonna put the aluminum foil on the top. There we go, looks good. Now for this guy. Oh, poked a hole. There we go. Now we gotta get our crock pot. Oh, here we go, put them in here. Now we need water. Here you go, drink up guys. Maybe a little bit more. 
Yeah, that ought to do it. Let's throw a lid on this guy. It didn't say how long we're supposed to do this for, so I'm just gonna do like half an hour. So I'll see you guys in like half an hour. Okay, half an hour's up. Let's go get it. Here we go. Take that off. Let's see how melted these guys are. One of them actually got tipped over, so uh, one has a bunch of water in it. And I think that's this one. Ew, that does not look very good. I put this off to the side for now. So that's a bad one. This is the good one that I did properly. Let's see. Oh, that's hot. Ow. Ah. Let's see how melted this chocolate is. Here we go. And wow, that's actually pretty melted. Yeah, I'm gonna, I, I think that actually worked. If I didn't get water in it, the other one would have probably worked too. So I guess we can say that this one works. So for this one, I'm gonna need a can of Coke that uh, just won't open. Now, I'm gonna try my best to make it so that this just kind of falls off, but no promises. Maybe I could just cut it off. Let's see. It worked! Yeah, don't need this anymore. Now we need some chopsticks. Here are our chopsticks. We really only need one, so now we're just gonna go ahead and poke this, I guess, until it opens. Ah! 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 Oh my god! Woo! That was terrifying. I was not expecting that. Oh my gosh. Oh, I need a minute. Oh my god. Well, I guess we can say this works! How am I supposed to just... Yep, still good. Okay, so here's our ramen. I just cooked it just for you. Here's our hair straightener. Now let's see if we can decongeal some of these nudes. Is congealed a word? Congealed. Having become semi-solid, especially on cooling. Okay, cool. Yeah, I used that word right. Let's see if we can decongeal this. I don't know if decongeal is a word, but let's see if we can. Yeah, so here we go. Maybe if I line them up. So I gotta line them up properly too. Okay, give me a second here, guys. Okay, here we go. Now we're just gonna... Oh, that does not sound good. Oh, this was an awful idea. Okay, let's keep going. I mean, it's slowly making them straighter, actually. If I do this, though, it's gonna take so long. Just like straightening my hair. How many of you is this triggering right now? Oh my goodness. This is so weird. Why am I doing this? Oh, we have one breaking off. That's what happens to your hair if you straighten it too much. Maybe if I just do it in, like, sections like this. I'm just gonna do it really slow. Okay, so weirdly enough, this is kind of working. So I've been working at this for like five or six minutes now, uh, and it looks like they're pretty solid. I mean, they're not perfectly straight, but dude, that's kind of weird. It's not as perfectly straight as it is in the video, but I mean, it's still pretty straight. So uh, I guess we're gonna have to say that this one works. Okay, so I've actually seen this one around the internet for a while now, and it does work. I have tried it. Well, let me just show you. Here's our classic can of olives. Here's our can opener. And then we're just gonna put it on there just like that. Yeah, it fits on perfectly, see? And you just twist it at the top. Yeah, see? So the whole thing about this is now you have juice everywhere if you would have opened it the other way. The juice goes all the way to the top, so you already spilt all the juice. That's one thing wrong with this. Number two, now you have this sharp edge on the can, and you can really cut yourself on this. I mean, it would have been on this part. There's two ways to do with everything, I guess, and this is just a way to do stuff. Mmm, olives. Anyway, I guess we're gonna have to say this one works! Okay, so here's our cucumber. Here's our knife. So apparently we're just supposed to cut down most of the way like that and just keep going. Okay, flip it over. And then apparently we're supposed to do it at like an angle like this. Uh, let's see how well this works. Okay, I'll be just as amazed as you guys if I do this correctly. So uh, we're just gonna pull it and... No, oh, I didn't do it right. Maybe deeper? Okay, we'll try this again. Ready? One, two, and... Oh, it's kind of working! Oh, I was so close. I mean, I'm kind of... No! I kind of did it. Yeah! I did it! Woo! Kind of. I need some salt and pepper. Oh, yeah. Now, that's some good cucumber. Well, guys, I guess we can say this... I don't know if this works, but I mean, I cut the cucumber, and that's all that matters. <laughs> I'm just gonna eat my cucumber. <laughs> Here's our potatoes. Here's our tin foil. Let's just wrap some of these puppies up, shall we? But first, we're supposed to stab it with a fork. I only have this plastic one, so I hope it'll do. Okay. Wrap this bad boy up. One down. Oops. Wrap this guy up. Two potato. And we're just gonna do one more. 
three potatoes. Here's our crock pot. Just gonna put these guys in there. Perfect. So here's our bread pan. We're just gonna spray that up really quick. Looks good. And we're gonna flop our bread in there. And apparently I'm supposed to let this rise for a little bit, but according to the video, I can just put it in there and then put a top on it. Um, yeah, I don't really know how long I was supposed to put it in because it doesn't say in the video. Uh, so I'm just gonna go ahead and plug this in for a little bit and we'll see how it looks when they're both done. So I just wanted to update you guys on this little fiasco and uh, it's been like about two hours. Not really a lot has changed. I mean, it has blown up a little bit because it's baking, but it's it's very slow. And I figured it would be good if I kept this tin foil on it. Oh no. Oh, it's falling off. Yeah, I'm keeping this tin foil on it so that it keeps more heat inside. Uh, I'm gonna let it sit for another hour or two, maybe two hours, and I will let you guys know uh, what's going on with it. <laughs> so here's our bread and our potatoes. It's been smelling very strongly of yeast in here, so it hasn't been smelling the best. I'm gonna let this cool off for a little bit, and then we're gonna cut it open and see how it looks. Okay, we let it cool for a little bit. Uh, let's see if we can move it out. Oh, wow. This is a perfect <laughs> loaf of bread. Okay, move that out. Let's see how our hot potatoes... Oh! Hot potatoes! See how our hot potatoes turned out. Just gonna... Ugh. Okay, let's see. So just so you guys know, uh, this was in here for like three or four hours. So it was basically in there for a very long time. Let's see how easy it is to cut this bad boy open with a fork. Oh my gosh. It just slides right in there. Whoa! This is actually a baked potato! All I need is butter and it, it's perfect! Let's give it a little bite. Wow, this is actually really good. I can't believe it. I actually made a baked potato in the crock pot. Well, I guess we can say that this one works. Okay, let's cut open this bread. Here we go. Ooh, ooh. Oh my gosh, it actually came out. That is so cool. The bread actually baked. This is perfect little pieces of bread. I mean, it's a little gooey on the inside. Actually, no, it's perfect. It's all fluffy. Wow, that's pretty good bread. Well guys, I guess we can say it works. Woo. Okay guys, now it's everyone's favorite part of the video where we recreate the thumbnail. Woo! So here's our bacon. Just gonna open that up real quick. Yeah, here we go. Now that looks like one nice piece of bacon. Here's our hair straightener. I went ahead and set it to 430 degrees. That's the highest it goes. So let's see if we can cook some bacon with this, shall we? So we're gonna start in the middle. I'm gonna do this one really slow. I mean, it's sizzling. I think it might be doing it, actually. This is gonna take so long for one piece of bacon. I'm only gonna do half of it so that I can make it look like it's cooked on the top part, if it does cook. So we can really see the difference here. This is so gonna break my hair straightener. Oh my god. If this thing catches on fire. Where's my fire extinguisher? I mean, it smells good in here. This is so greasy. Okay, I'm gonna wipe off my straightener. I have to say, this is probably the most inconvenient way to cook bacon. I already knew that going into this, but I just wanted to confirm it. I don't even know which side I was doing. I think it was this side? Nope, it was this side. Oh, that's hot. Okay, let's keep going. I'm just gonna leave it here and see if it cooks it over time. God, this is so stupid. It's slowly, slowly cooking it. It's taking so long for this. Okay, uh, this is obviously not working. I'll be right back. Okay, so here's some bacon that I cooked. Uh, as you can see, I'm not very good at cooking bacon. It is completely burnt. So now we're just gonna go ahead and try and recreate this thumbnail, okay? Go ahead and cut this in half. Okay, here we go. So we're just gonna go ahead, do that here. One right there, and then one up here. Perfect. Oh, not perfect. Getting close. Oh, did I just break it? Okay. Hmm. This is harder than I thought. Okay, try this again. Oh, there's a hair on it. Dude, this is disgusting. Okay, that should do it. Okay guys, thanks so much for watching the video. If you liked it, make sure you all thumbs up. Looks like my best one right down there. So I just got a brand new laptop and I want to cover it completely in stickers. So if you guys want to send me any cool stickers to put on my laptop, I will send you a sticker back. My PO box is right here and I'll also put a description down below. I freaking love stickers, so I can't wait to see what you guys send me. If you guys want to watch me do even more fun five minute craft stuff, you can click right here, down description down below. It'll be the first playlist, by the way. If you guys are new, make sure to hit that subscribe button. If you guys want this shirt, stickers, or any of my other merch, you can click right here. Okay guys, love you so much. I'll see you guys again real soon. Peace, love, and Wi-Fi. Awkward edit. Okay, bye. Ah!